Assisted listening devices are great for any child. All kids benefit from assisted listening devices, um, but they're especially important for kids that have hearing loss. So they can be used in addition to or in lieu of uh, hearing aids or cochlear implants, but they're normally used in addition to hearing aids. And the most common assisted listening device that you know of is that FM system. And the FM system um, improves the signal to noise ratio. So it brings the signal of the teacher's voice directly to the child's ear. So it's a wireless personal listening device. The microphone is placed near the desired of sound source. So usually the teacher will mirror the microphone. And then no matter where the child is in the classroom or no matter what the child is doing, that teacher's voice will always be in the child's ear. The, there are no wires. All of the, um, the teacher's voice is sent through FM waves. It's amplified through FM waves and it's sent directly to the child's hearing aid or their cochlear implant. So it improves the signal and noise ratio. They aren't cheap. They're usually on a child's IEP, which means that the school is required to have them for the child, but they stay with the school. They belong to the school. So the child isn't allowed to bring it home or to bring it from middle school to high school, like it's the school's FM system. Like I said, they're bootable. They attach right on to the hearing aid or the cochlear implant. Here's an example of the teacher wearing the FM system, the child either wearing the FM system or wearing it attached to their hearing aid or cochlear implant. Um, evidence suggests that infants and toddlers benefit from FM systems at home, so you know, helping to improve that incidental learning. If the mom's talking to herself while she's making dinner and the baby's playing on the floor, the baby can better hear the mom talking to themselves. So there are other similar technologies that help to improve the child's learning language, but it's really that FM system that's our number one assisted listening device. There are also sound field FM systems where there are uh, speakers set up in the classroom and this helps all children. It's not just that the one child gets the benefit of the booted FM system. Infrared systems work the same way as FM systems, only infrared waves are used. All children benefit. All children benefit from this FM system. So kids with otitis media, unilateral hearing loss, mild hearing loss, auditory processing disorder, cochlear implants, cognitive disorders, learning disabilities, attention problems, articulation problems, Behavior problems, children with no problems benefit from, co from having the teacher's voice right in their ears. And the teacher reports that they need less energy to protect their voices. There's less vocal abuse. They're less tired from having to protect their voice and trying to engage the whole class. So uh, they're great. They're really great. Very useful to have. Preferential seating doesn't control for background noise and reverberation or... We know teachers don't stay still in the classroom, so if the teacher's in the back of the room, the child will still hear that teacher very well with their FM system. You should uh, teach the teacher how to use the FM system. There's one teacher that told a funny story how, um, you know, she had child's hearing loss, she'd wear her microphone, and then, you know, she's in the bathroom, just remember that her microphone is still on. So, you know, if you leave you know, something that you don't want the child to hear to turn off your FM system because regardless of where you are, the child's going to be able to hear you.